Koi Ekman and I made TDD Gone. Now, it's a fairly simple device. Uh, I'm going to start off by explaining each different part of it. Um, of course, here we have the batteries, which store the power for the remote, or provide it at least. Um, here we have the button, which um, awakens the microchip right here, which has all of the code for the remote itself on it. So it just tells what all these lights to do. Um, these four LEDs at the top, they are infrared LEDs. If I press this button here, you can see them on the video camera because this does not have the IR scope. But um, I can't see it at all. Um, this light down here is basically just for showing that it's working because you'll see it's flashing a little bit. As you can't see, or I can't see that those are working. Um, the resistors here, here, and here basically limit the power that can be um, taken down the circuit, so not too little, basically. Um, the capacitor stores energy from the batteries um, for the microcontroller itself for when it actually awakens. Like, right now it's in storage but it's not needed. Um, this little blue piece right here is the oscillator. It keeps track of how fast the LEDs are beating. Um, not too fast, not too slow. And these transistors, um, they're basically like on-off switches and they help with the power or um, sourcing power to these LEDs. Now, it's a lot easier to use the transistors instead of just directly linking up the controller to the LEDs because um, the transistors help uh, to uh, distribute the power itself. So like, it just takes a little bit to awaken this transistor and then a little bit for these instead of one great burst to turn on all four of these LEDs. And so. Going back through it, the way that it works is there's power flowing through the chip itself right now, uh, being stored in the capacitor. It's just that the microchip is not on right now, not sending out the instructions to turn on the transistors. But as soon as I hit the button, it gives the OK, the transistor sh shift to on, and it runs down a list of TV codes. So you can see it's flashing at different intervals. So like the first one could be Sony, second one could be um, Pantech, and so forth and so on. And it just runs down that list until it's completely done. And that's how it works.